And if this didn't happen to me, I genuinely wouldn't believe me either. <laughs> on Thursday and I'm on my way to drinks and dinner with the girls at CNS Oyster Bar. I've really been craving some oysters. I didn't take y'all along on my last rotation, but I went to um, Baltimore where we lay over in Annapolis. Y'all know Maryland is known for their crab cakes and all of that, but um, Annapolis was on another level because it's right there on the water. And them oysters, they were crab and chili oil crusted char broiled oysters. Can you say yes ma'am? Those oysters were so good. I've been craving them ever since. So, Oh, hey, to those of you that are new, I'm Milani Maj. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're old, welcome back. And as always, thank you so much for supporting me. Um, wait, first of all, I'm lost. I'm lost. Where am I going? Oh, I need to make a U-turn, child. I made the wrong turn. Okay. But anyway, like I was saying, we're on our way to CNS Oyster Bar and I'm very excited about it because I've been craving oysters ever since my last trip. Speaking of trips, this will be a flight attendant vlog. I am gonna take y'all along on my trip starting tomorrow. I do have a two day Miami reporting tomorrow at like six or so in the morning and then I have some fun plans in Miami. So I'm gonna take you guys along for that. But I wanted to get the vlog started today. I haven't vlogged in a while, so forgive me. Um, I'm getting back into it though. And we gonna vlog. And I have a couple of um, sit down videos planned for y'all as well. Those sit down videos are really good on my channel. I don't know what that's about because I would much rather vlog than sit down and talk. But as far as editing goes, sit down talking videos are much easier to edit than vlogs are as far as like everything. Because I don't got to find copyright free music and edit all the days and all of that. It's just like I just sit there, I talk and then the video's over, it's great. I guess that's all for now. I'm like three minutes away from dinner. I'm running extremely late. The reservations were at 6 p.m. It is 6.59 a.m. My report time is 6.15, but as you can see, I'm already here and on the plane for my two-day trip. Three legs today, Atlanta to Chicago O'Hare and O'Hare to Atlanta. So a uh, Chicago O'Hare turn out of Atlanta and then a leg to Miami, and I lay over Miami tonight. I'm in Miami by about 3, 3.30 p.m., and I do have plans there that I'll bring you guys along for, but until then, um, until then. I'm gonna go to bed early. One girl just walked on the plane. We're waiting on the flight leader and, and one more. Um, so it's four of us total on the 757. And I was about to say we're on the same plane all day, but no, we're not. I love when we are, but today we're not. We're on the same plane, of course, for our Chicago turn. Then we change planes when we get back to Atlanta and get on another plane of the same type, just at a different gate. I don't know why that's a thing. That doesn't make any sense to me. If we're going to stay on the same aircraft type, can we just keep the same plane? Why not? Because again, we're on a Boeing 757. Um, yeah, all day long. But that's above my pay grade. Anyway, that's the itinerary for today. If and when I can pick up the camera, I will. Or if I got something to say. Otherwise, I'll probably see you guys in Miami. Um, we'll have some fun. I am the most senior. I ain't senior at all. Let's talk about that. Um, but I am the most senior non-A person on this crew, which means I get to bid for my position first. So what I think I'm going to do is stay in the front, which means because in Atlanta we rotate at my airline, I'll be in the middle position tomorrow and I never have to do badly. Sometimes I like badly. 
sometimes I don't. It kind of just depends. But tomorrow we have three flights as well. And I don't want to do three legs of galley at any point on this trip if I don't have to. So, because I'm the senior mama. <laughs> Um, in the back on this trip, I'm going to start in the front and then rotate to the mid and then the other two can decide between who's doing middle and who's doing back first and then they'll be in the front tomorrow. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to check in because I didn't check in after um, dinner. It is Friday, March 29th and Beyonce's Renaissance Act 2 Cowboy Carter came out today so I've been listening to that all morning and so far so good. I'm about halfway through so I'm going to continue to do that for the next... I don't know, 15-ish minutes while we wait for the rest of the group and yeah, that'll be that. Hey y'all, it is nearly five o'clock. I landed probably almost two hours ago, probably at this point. But anyway, I made it to Miami. Um, I ended up not going to the hotel because the hotel was just a little bit out the way, honestly, for me. Um, considering I'm gonna be in Miami and our hotel was in like a Doral or something, which I don't understand why, but we made it. I'm about to get ready um, for the evening's festivities and I'll check in, I don't know, once all of that is done. I look a little greasy. I look, <laughs> No time with you, man. You know ain't no regular vibes. Never. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Too. Thank you. So crazy, right? that they're making now and she put up like a picture of it and it almost looked like it was um almost like all she had done was clean it and it almost looked like she had started shredding it like for tacos or something mm -hmm. um and she was like this is not real chicken where is this from and she said she brought it from walmart and she said she didn't even take it back she said she threw it away so okay i have a question did y'all watch that movie society of the snow I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I heard it was good though. If, hypothetically speaking, you were stranded in the snow on a deserted plateau with no land in or humanity civilization in sight, and you're dying and freezing to death, but you're trying to survive and you're fighting for your life. And some of the partners and friends, colleagues that shoot. I'm not eating no humans. <laughs> no. I'm not. I'm Let me saying. finish. The okay, colleagues that you had that crashed on oh, a plane. Oh, they already did. And died either from frostbite or hypothermia or the crash itself or whatever the circumstances. Could you eat your friends to survive, Minya? No, because cannibalism has like really bad psychological effects. Like, you don't want to yourself and die either. Interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't? I wouldn't want to. I'll be, I'm okay. So you just don't starve to death out there. Uh-huh. I'm going to talk to Jesus That's until a he come to get me and take me up out of here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, like, I, I don't want to resort to... Give me that pepper. No, it's already up there. Oh, give me that onion powder. I don't want to... Honey, you're just cooking tonight. I don't want to resort to um, what else? Eating my colleagues. You want the um, paprika? I gotta go to the damn Lidl to get Old Bay down here. Oh wow! And you know Old Bay is on every corner. Yeah, up there. 
Oh, you know what's so good? Them crab chips. Speaking of Old Bay. They be up north. The potato chips. Crab. Old Bay and crab. Mm -hmm. Yes. The seasoned potato chips. They so salty, though. They so good, though. <laughs> I like them with a little, um, like, ranch or sour cream. Something creamy to... To dip? Yeah, to take down that salt. Because mm -hmm. they're so salty. No need. And something else I just had. And I was eating them with... Pickle chips. Sour cream to take down that lettuce. Pickle chips. I think it was because I didn't no. do pickle chips. I didn't taste them pickle chips? Now, but mm -hmm. I don't need a pickle chip. I'll do it if like if I have a sandwich or something. Did y'all watch Mia Culpa? Yeah. Did you like it? No, Culpa. Mm-hmm. You did? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised, Mom. You're so judgy. I think Kelly did a good job. No, I think she did a good job. I'm talking about more so the writing. Let, let me specify. Um, I liked it. For, for Tyler Perry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of agree. And it's so crazy. Overall, it's not like, oh my God, this is such a good movie. Right. But for Tyler Perry, I feel and like it was different. when he does stuff like that, I love it and of him coming out of his box and leveling up mm -hmm. some. Because I feel like so much of his stuff is dummy down. Yeah. Um, and do I think the storyline in general, more details, could have been better. Mm -hmm. More creative. Whatever. Sure. But, I love the non Medea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Tyler Perry. laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. It's been days and days and days. Once y'all saw, if y'all saw, at any point um, that I was in Charlotte, I have not been to work since. I stayed in Charlotte for six days, almost a week. And today is Friday, April the 6th. And I'm back for um, a two-day DC. And I'm the A on this trip. Um, it's 6, 16 now. My report is 7, 10. Just got to the lot and parked up. About to... Head in here and catch this bus to the airport. It's a doozy. Yes, I do try to get to this parking lot like an hour prior to my report time because it, it's a process. Finding parking, going through our like version of TSA, getting on the shuttle, getting on the airport, checking in, getting to your gate. Like there's a lot to do and I don't like to be rushing when it comes to work. Now with everything else, anything that's not paying me, I'll be late. My friends will tell you, but I don't play about my money so <laughs> yeah i'll be here like an hour before so yeah that's it i just wanted to give like a proper reintroduction because i left y'all hanging for like a week and that's really not cool but as you saw miami was a good time that was last friday or oh, i'm sorry it's saturday the 6th i don't know why it feels like a friday to me then i had to be up into the airport by like Bye. Anyway, it was an early morning. I didn't feel like talking. I was like, oh, I'll talk to y'all on my break. Didn't feel like talking on the break. I'll talk to y'all when I'm on the way to Charlotte. Didn't feel like that either. Did absolutely nothing. I literally sat in the house for a week. At my parents' house for a week. I did not leave that house once. I worked on my new business. I worked on some, like, short-form content on TikTok and Instagram. Posted some of that. And, yeah, that was it. We'll talk about that business a little while later. But, um... Yeah, I'm just talking for the sake of talking at this point. Let me go get on this bus shop. Let's go to work. Hey, y'all. I never checked back in after my three legs today. Once we got to the hotel on our sit at any point, honestly. But look, we made it to D.C. I checked into the hotel. It's a regular ass hotel. Y'all didn't miss out on, on anything now. However, we're about to head out. It's Saturday. Is it Saturday or Friday? I don't know. And I don't know why I'm checking. I'm used to having my Apple Watch on my wrist. Nigga, hit it with the phone. This is where my grandfather is from. Just love him down. 
All right, peace to him. But anyway, here we are in Birmingham. It's literally nothing special at all, but I haven't done a good vlog. I mean, a good job vlogging at all. It's hard. Vlogging is hard work. This is my view, a beautiful parking garage, and then like that. Okay. Anyway, like I was saying, I haven't done a good job vlogging like at all. It's hard to get back into it. And I'm starting to feel like awkward again about vlogging in public. I used to not care. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's just because I feel dusty. I do feel very dusty. Um, so I'm gonna go with that. That is probably a big part of the reason. But anyway, we're here. I had three legs today. Um, a Philly turned out of Atlanta this morning. And then we deadheaded from Atlanta to, um, I was about to say Amsterdam, I wish, <laughs> to Birmingham. And that flight was literally only 29 minutes, but it was 29 minutes of free money. Um, deadheading, in case you don't know, is when the company needs to reposition us for a flight, but they already have a crew working the flight, essentially. So there was a fully functioning, available crew working that flight, and we sat, my crew and I, I'm the A on this um, trip, if I haven't mentioned it already, my crew and I, my crew of four, sat as passengers on that plane, free of charge, with confirmed seats, so that the company could get us here to lay us over so that we can work the flight back tomorrow. But that is the definition of a deadhead, in case you were wondering. So, yeah, it's a beautiful thing having a confirmed seat and not flying standby. We don't get to do that very often. <laughs> so, it's a blessed thing. Anyway, we're here in Birmingham, and before I wusa, um, I wanted to fill you guys in on a couple of things. First and foremost, I started a new business. Your girl is a travel agent. Officially, I finished all of my certifications and got my licensing and everything. Last week, was that last? Last week, when I was in Charlotte just after Easter, I did every, that's why I was just MIA, because I was working on that very diligently. Um, and yeah, I successfully completed all of that. My new business, my new venture, it is called Unwritten Adventures. And the site is live, unwrittenadventures.com. I have it on the screen, I have it down below. You'll be seeing it a lot from here on out. This is my new pride and joy. I'm very excited about it. And I think this will be a good way, and it makes more sense for me as far as um, curating group trips and everything, because I've been wanting to do it, but it doesn't make sense to outsource when I could learn the business and do it myself. So I'll be announcing like, hopefully um, group trips to keeping it small at first. I think um, like Mexico, South America, the islands and stuff like that, things that are close and things where people speak um, English um, and then kind of broadening my horizons from there. I'm trying to go all over the world with some of you, I hope, I hope that you guys are excited, as excited about it as I am. Um, everybody's always saying like, I hope I get to fly with you. I, I wanna come on one of y'all trips. Why didn't you invite me? All of that, like this now, this is, here, here we go, here we go. Um, so I hope that you guys are as excited about it as I am. And then the second thing that I want us to do just really quickly is shout out my subscribers. Y'all have been holding it down. I post so inconsistently, but every time that I do post, y'all show up and y'all show out and y'all support. And I think the interesting thing, here I go, going off on a tangent. Y'all know I'm a talk. One thing about me, I'm a talk. So anyway, um, it's just so interesting to me. I was talking to my friends, like the most popular videos on my channel are my sit down, flight attendant specific videos. Y'all watch the vlogs, especially the flight attendant vlog. Y'all don't really care about the travel vlog. Those are the vlogs that I enjoy making the most because those are the vlogs that I go back and watch because I love to see my experience in certain countries and I can point people in the direction of them. But unless somebody asks me like, oh, have you ever been to Bali? And then I send them the Bali vlog. Like outside of that, like nobody is watching like my dedicated travel videos like when I'm on vacation. Y'all love to see me work. So I have to do a better job of balancing the two and vlogging more when I work but a lot of times like today or like I went out a little bit in DC y'all saw probably like a little b-roll of our time at um Crave Craze whatever that restaurant was speaking of that restaurant I can't <laughs> stay on track for nothing but anyway speaking of that restaurant the service was trash the lamb chops are really good the crab dip is really good the macaroni and cheese is so saucy um, the hookah was hookah in, I must say that. The drinks were tasty, but very weak. Um, I had two and I, I'm sober, I was sober. So yeah, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I hate to say that about a black business because the reason that I went there was to support a black business, but the service was so bad and the, it was just, 
it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. Maybe it's different during brunch because they did say like we came at like 5.30ish, which was between like the brunch and dinner time. So it was dead in there and maybe people like they're used to just having like a break. It was like us and maybe two, four, six other people, maybe eight other people, something like that. Um, but yeah, no, anyway. <laughs> that's that about the dc thing but to bring it all back to what i was saying like i'm not about to do anything on this layover so i just feel like especially layovers like this where i know that i'm not going out when i see that i have a two-day trip that's going to birmingham in my mind there's no reason to log the trip because i know that when i get to birmingham i'm not going anywhere not that there's not things to do because there are but like i have leftovers i'm about to sit in this bed i'm about to probably start editing this video i might work on a new ebook speaking of ebook i do travel itineraries on unwritten adventures as well the only one up so far is turks and caicos because i've gotten a lot of questions especially like going into the summer months and stuff people want to visit the islands and the beach and everything and last year i went to turks and caicos i get questions about it all the time so the first travel itinerary ebook that i released is for turks and caicos um i don't know what the next one will be feel free to sound off places that you've seen me go Amsterdam Portugal Paris um Johannesburg would be a good one Bali would be a great one um I've been a lot of places but anyway anywhere that you've seen me go I am more than happy um to supply a travel itinerary ebook for it they're very affordably priced and I get questions about that all the time I guess people don't want to sit through a whole video about it like I'm a video person but everybody isn't like that. People like to read. People like hard copies of stuff. So I've been getting a lot of questions like, where can I see? I'm like, girl, watch my highlights. Watch a vlog. And they're like, no, I need like a hard copy of it. So anyway, that's available. I'll probably work on one of those. Um, edit this vlog. Eat. Drink some water. Watch some Netflix. Chill. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't going to vlog. But also I know, like literally I'm at three subscribers. And if this didn't happen to me, I genuinely wouldn't believe me either. <laughs> I genuinely would. If you're one of the subscribers that I met on my last trip in DC, I met Quez and he's friends with my friend Ashley Seller. So Quez, leave a comment and let them know I'm not lying. Rod, I think your name was, I met you when I was leaving Atlanta. I think we were finishing our trip or we were in between, um, uh, in between legs for my last rotation. Or Denisha, who I literally just flew with on that DC trip for six legs um and she's just a good time we were supposed to go out but she ended up just hanging out at the bar downstairs at the hotel and i ended up going out but anyway yeah i mean all three of my like i mean i said all three <laughs> it's like three thousand something of y'all but i met three of my lovely subscribers and they was all like honey where is the videos where is the content you are the reason or one of the reasons one of the resources let me say that that i utilize to become a flight attendant especially at my airline so just because we're here now don't mean you stop. We still hire and people still like want to enjoy the content and it just be so amazing to me because like putting faces and names to, to the number is just crazy. And me and Denisha, Denisha and I, let me speak like I got some sense, but we were talking about that during our sit in DC because we had like three hours or so in DC and we got Kava and we were talking about it and it's like, I think she picked up on the fact that I was visibly awkward and that's not to say that if you see me don't speak because I love y'all and I love meeting you guys but it is astonishing to me because I'm this small okay and there's a whole wide world and I be running into y'all very often especially when I'm working especially when I'm in uniform people call me out very often and um also shout out to my friend um flying with skates I love her too everybody's like you and skates you and skates you and skates I'm like oh my god that's crazy to me it's insane but it is the reality and she was asking me like is that one of the reasons that she don't post anymore and no it's not i'm not being like weird about it because like i'm weird about y'all i'm just like amazed that this is a thing you know what i mean i don't i don't know i don't know if i'm making sense but like it's just really really cool and i appreciate y'all and i thank y'all and i love y'all and i promise to um just be more active in general on social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Facebook is probably where I'm going to do the promoting of the group trips and everything the most because I don't care as much as my timeline and aesthetic, to be honest, on Facebook as I do um, on Instagram. So that's just something to know if you want to follow me on Facebook, I guess. We're bringing Facebook back. Uh, but yeah, like I just really appreciate y'all and I love y'all and I thank y'all for riding out and sticking it out with me and it's just so crazy. I haven't posted in months and I still gain followers like every day. It's insane. But yeah, love you. Appreciate you. I hope this wasn't too boring of a vlog. Like I guess I'll try to keep it going because 
you know? And mix in a little bit of fun that I'll be having starting tomorrow. I said tomorrow. If I said tomorrow, I meant Wednesday. And then I'll have 8 a 6 starting Thursday, and that'll be a new vlog. So y'all will get two vlogs. At least, at least two vlogs um, this beautiful month of April. So she's back. She's back. She's back. She's back. Um, and then any sit down videos because like I was saying earlier, I feel like I'm just all over the place I'm trying to like check off all the boxes. I feel like I have a lot to say and I, I'm not saying it in an organized way Maybe I need to start scripting or something. But anyway Speaking of my most popular videos that are like the sit down videos If y'all want any more sit down content, let me know what y'all want that content to be about I'm definitely thinking about doing another um what is it called? Like 10 things I hate about being a flight attendant or 10 reasons you shouldn't become a flight attendant, something like that. I think that's like the most viewed video on my channel. Um, and then maybe another video on pay because something went haywire in the back office when it came to my video about pay and none of the um, like screenshots, I wasn't able to use any of the screenshots, the inputs and stuff that I had put into the video initially. So y'all can hear everything that I'm talking about. And I guess if you're paying really good attention, you can visualize what I'm explaining, but the screenshots for reference aren't there. So that's kind of an issue. And I feel like I need to redo that in a better way. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. Um, that's two sit down videos right there. Mm, maybe another Q and A maybe a regional versus mainline versus legacy i've been wanting to do that video for a while but i think it would just be better instead of me talking about my experience at regional mainline and legacy because i've done all three to like at this point in my career i think it would be better to have a person that is regional and still regional a person that is at a mainline and still mainline and myself at my legacy and still legacy and kind of being able to like talk about all of those from all our individual experiences and then I'll still be able to talk about what the pros and cons of each are. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about that or any other ideas. I'm very open to them. Um, but yeah, I'm back. I feel like I say this every few months, but I got a new lens. I got a new light. It's not on right now. I got three new batteries. Like I have no excuse. So we're going to do it. My schedule is far more flexible than it used to be. So there's literally, I have the time I can edit like I have no excuse so we're gonna do it I want y'all to hold me accountable and give me all of your ideas in the comments um yeah like I said I'm just about to chill I guess for the rest of the night it's only I don't even have my phone where's my phone Hi, look at her vlogging in the middle of the day who is she she's a vlogger she's a vlogger anyway we're in Kansas City I stepped off the plane for a minute and grabbed some food because we have like a two hour sit here before our last and final flight to Atlanta to end this rotation off with a bang. But I just want to check in and say hey. Um, I guess because why not? I look insane. I look insane. Speaking of looking insane, how about yesterday? Matter of fact, I'm just going to insert what I put on Instagram because y'all are cackling on Instagram. If you don't follow me there already, follow me at Milan.image. But y'all. And a part of me is like, I should be ashamed of myself. But the other part is like, no. She's rude because you literally just watched me sign myself and my whole crew in, put my name and employee number next to a room number, and it didn't even occur to you when you looked at the phone and saw the screensaver to call the room. Because, like, you couldn't fathom that that was me. I'm offended. <laughs> but I was about to say, do I not look like my pics? Because, no, I just literally met three subscribers yesterday. So there's no way. Shout out to Denisha. Shout out to Rod and Quez. Like, there's no way you don't know that's me. That look like me. It just looks like me on a good day. A really, 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 really good day. My best day, maybe. Like, yeah. I need to bring back the old me. I'm going to start really showing up. Y'all won't catch me, catch me slipping no more. Y'all won't catch me slipping. Because that's embarrassing. 